Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel by the name of Leah's Chill. Uh, we are back once again to go ahead and create another piece of One Piece Bounty Rush content over on the channel. Um, we currently still have the giveaway for the account you're going to be watching in today's video in the description below, so feel free to go enter in the Aglimio link. Uh, basically, you can win a Craze Level 100 Roger account alongside the two characters you'll see showcased today, fully maxed out, as well as a couple of other things, and so... We'll have three more videos during this week before the announcement of the big hype, uh, whoever's getting it. And so hopefully you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so our first game today is going to be the one that made me the saltiest. So I I've been playing these two characters for a while. Basically, I'm doing Luffy Taro alongside Dress Rosa Zoro. Both level 100, both of them are very, very powerful characters. And I think they're used for very different purposes. Um, Dress Rosa Zoro is very much like a kickoff type of character. He's really good at sniping people across the map. While Luffy Taro is more so focused around... I would say one-shotting defenders. Uh, because he very much has a lot of defender traits to try and be anti-defender. Uh, but here, of course, we're starting off. We have two snake men on our team. Uh, we're Luffy Taro. So what would you assume people would want to do? So I'd assume snake men go to the middle, but one snake man goes around to B, one snake man comes right to where I am, and of course no one goes to the middle. So yay! I love this video game and all it has to offer. This is the equivalent of like a, a Rise or a Vagar in League of Legends, just fucking running it down mid. Like that is the snake man capping the first treasure in this game. Um, and naturally, now I'm stuck in a 2v1. Luckily, Luffy Taro's normal attacks actually hit behind him, so I managed to kill the Luchi behind me, but of course the Zoro is very powerful. Uh, I end up running away a little bit, but he ends up critting me anyway. Uh, the Zoro has a lot of crits, and so his damage, if he ends up hitting you, can end up in very, very high tiers. Um, you can see here, I go ahead and snipe the law across the map so I can end up securing E. So we're still in an okay situation. I want to charge this up a little bit, but I realize there's a Dress Rosa Zoro right there about to go and cap our treasure. So I run over here, the Luffy ends up hitting him and so it doesn't really do all that much. We're boosted now, so I pop my first strong attack, get the kill, and then decide to just kind of hold down the fort a little bit. I'm keeping an eye on the map, trying to see who's coming. I see the Monet in the middle, and I'm just chilling. Frankly, I, I'll grab some of that meat, chill over on the side. I really wonder if it would have been better. Oh, also that just completely whiffs. I meant to shoot it at the Monet in the middle. Uh, didn't work out. But I feel like I really should have charged up that treasure that I just left behind. Despite the fact that C is currently the main part that everyone's fighting over, I realize that behind me they're currently capping 2-1. to one. And so, looking at the area and where my teammates are and stuff like that, we really needed to secure three solid treasures and C is just way too much. Here you can see I'm normal attacking Monet and stuff and it's not quite working out. She ends up dying eventually, but we're currently kind of down bad. Uh, we don't have the treasure behind me though it's being capped right now, and the Doffy is about to go over and cap here. So, with 40 seconds left, and me not knowing how to fight Doffy, it's not going too well. I immediately get hit for most of my HP, and then behind me, I get bopped by the Luchi and die. So, we're currently in dire straits, things are very bad, and unfortunately, we end up losing, because right here, the Snake Man, who's in the middle, gets a kill, and then he decides to go fuck off to the next generation. Watch this. So I kill the Mihawk. I'm holding it down. The loot, the Snake Man goes that way, while the Rayleigh instantly caps our treasure here, and we end up losing. Oh, I was so pissed. We were winning the whole fucking game, but I had to go to Rayleigh, and Snake Man left to go and do his own shit. So all in all, that Snake Man not only lost the original kickoff and got E, he also negated the fact that we had to guard treasure just to try and satiate his runner tendencies. Minus five, for sure. Big minus five. Uh, but here we have a second game. Uh, both our other games today are going to be on Marineford. 
I think this map is honestly one of the more boring ones in comparison to the other ones. However, it is one of the ones that Zoro is best on. So, it's a bit hard to justify. We actually are fighting an Izo on the other team, which dropped a couple days ago. Uh, and Izo is definitely a pretty scary matchup for Zoro in particular. I think it... Izo maxed out is probably going to be one of the things that Zoro struggles with the most because he really relies on having that distance between him and the enemy to be able to slightly outrange them and win. His second strong attack, obviously, you can see the Zoro across there jump over away from it. Um, I'm looking at the middle. I see that there's two coming in. I decide to pop that, though it was an, a massive mistake because it actually did trigger the Law's counter. Um, it doesn't look like it hit any of our teammates, though, so it's probably okay. Izo is currently trying to fight us. Um, I basically try and bait the dodge, but I didn't realize that Izo can pretty freely use their strong attacks directly in your face with no problems whatsoever. They're actually a rather scary unit, all in all. They're also healing every time they hit me, which is kind of spooky. Um, but luckily, the last hit of my strong attack, or my normal attack, goes pretty far, so was able to chase down the Izo. Um, I'm just looking around the area, trying to see what I want to do. It looks pretty free to just continue to be aggressive here. They're not really able to do the damage they need to to kill me, and we have team boost now. So obviously, I end up whiffing the second strong attack, and I use my normals to just try and secure some kills here. I tried to dodge around the Luchi, he went around my backside. Um, and he currently is one hit, so one good tap will do it. Shanks counters, we back away. Um, I think Zoro is actually really good at beating Shanks, honestly. Um, you'll see here, so two counter enemies are right there. I end up getting that one for free. Izo gets bodied there. And right now we're basically just trying to get our one runner to get the treasure that's in their face. Um, nice and simple. Straightforward objective. I'm being slashed by the Mihawk, but it's not going to do all that much. I think Katakuri has a better time trying to match up against Zoro, but even so, like, all green defenders are going to struggle. So I end up going after Izo, get that one down, and just kind of staring at the area. Doesn't look like we're having too much trouble. I back away because I can get a kill over here, and then I see that this Shanks is actually trying to cap, so that's a free kill from me. And that is a big fat GG right there. Definitely Zoro was able to just kind of crowd, crowd control for free. Um, the extra distancing helps a lot. And watching the counter units in front of them, you can just kind of sit back, barely outrange them, and one-shot them right at the end of their lives, which is really, really powerful. Definitely one of my favorite units. I think Zoro definitely is much higher up there than Luffy for me. Uh... But here we're going to go ahead and start off with Luffy, I believe. Oh wait, no, we start with Zoro. Okay, cool. I think this is the game that I remember being really hype about. But we'll see it as we get into here. We actually have another maxed out Luffy Taro on my team. And on the enemy team we have two different uh, Luffy's. One of them is already 6 star, and so it's going to be kind of a real ass match. I think this is this game in particular is a great example of what the meta kind of felt like when Zoro was released as well. Um, there's not really any crazy Rayleigh's, there's not really any crazy EX's at the moment that'll be that massive threat. Um, <laughs> none of my teammates I ended up grabbing the first treasure and I wanted them to, and so I ended up having to go backwards and grab it. We have uh, no runners, so everyone wanted to jump the gun. I go ahead and hit that Shanks after his counter is over with that second strong attack, which helps a lot. Get a good, I believe it's a defense reduction on the enemies, uh, especially on that uh, Garp. And we end up getting a kill there on one of the uh, Lofies. Unfortunately, Luffy is going to be a very tough matchup for us, and so I currently have three debuffs. I realize I'm about to die, so I end up backing up a little bit. Um, I kind of hold back to see what they want to do, but I end up getting hit by the Luffy anyway, and killed, unfortunately, by the last tiny little blip of his hit. Definitely a very tough one. Uh, heading back in with Luffy Taro. Luckily, he's really good against Garp. But unfortunately, the Garp is not currently alive. I get hit by the Luffy. 
And so my dodge didn't work out, and we're pretty far behind. Get that free good hit on the Lofi. And I basically just have to hold it down. I have to get within the treasure area, try and hold it. I get hit by the Zoro just barely. Uh, but luckily I'm able to get a good hit right here. Bonk! So pretty much every strong attack will beat Zoro's normal attacks. I was hoping he was going to come after me, but he didn't end up doing so. So I run over here. I see he's about to get the treasure, or the, the meat, and so I smack him once and steal it from him anyway. That's my meat, says Luffy. Um, And we're sitting pretty well right now. That Luffy Taro ends up going across, so I decide to try and kill the uh, Zoro here. I'm just trying to survey the area to see what we really need for the last minute. I think the biggest problem is going to be that Luffy. I end up getting a free kill on the Kiku, which is very nice. Um, and I just have to hold it down. I am now alone in this treasure. The Zoro had just gotten here. And I end up getting hit by the Luffy and one-shot by his big attack. The thing about Luffy is he'll get you down to 1 HP and then the burn will kill you, which really sucks. It is very painful, especially as good against runners. Uh, here, I watch the Shanks end up hitting him perfectly with that, and I run back in, dodge in, and then I know he's going to counter, and so I wait for his counter to be over and hit him at the last possible frame of it. And so definitely perfect timing on that. I gotta go defend the middle, but that is a incredible secure of a win. And then I end up getting hit anyway. Bonk! <laughs> But that is our three games for today, uh, two very powerful units, and tomorrow I'll be here to do Perona and Mihawk, two defenders of which are very powerful, so look forward to that. I'll see you guys then, and we have a couple more videos until the giveaway. See you guys later, take it easy, and bye for now.